Ooh, finally, something. Come on, something useful. Large battery. Finally. Large battery. Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Astroneer. Got, uh, got a lot of stuff done in the past few episodes. We got our base built here. We picked up a lot of resin last episode, and uh, we now have it here at Exotic, which will help us build our base even further. So uh, I now have a, a rover. I'm thinking maybe I should build a second rover. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> I've got my ship parked here, so I think what I'm going to do is extend this out a little bit further and make a secondary um, vehicle port, so that way I'll have my ship parked in one and I can use the other, and it's not a problem. So let's, uh, let's build this out a little bit. Because I know I'm going to need this, this space. Because more than likely I'll put down two... One extension, and then uh, the second extension will be the, the pad. So yeah, that should be good, that should be fine. It's not perfectly flat, but it will do. You need to see a spaceship explode. Yeah, <laughs> if, if exploding spaceships were a thing, like, the way I figure though, it might be worth it to try, but uh, the way I figure what's gonna happen is if I put dynamite on a ship, why did that go that way? I don't want you to go that way. If I put dynamite on a ship and explode the dynamite, I'm assuming that the the spaceship will just pop out of existence. I'm going to assume that the, the this game is so early they haven't accounted for that yet, but um, if we get to the point where we have plenty of resources, I may, may give that a try because I am curious now. I am very curious. So let's do vehicle B. We need aluminum though. I can never remember that. And that is what copper two coppers oh man okay so what I could do is take off and land over at the other location so what I'm gonna do what I've done before and what I should have done again is make a beacon and put it over next to the other landing site where is that is over here and that way when I'm up floating around I can say oh well the one closest to the beacon is where I need to land so I will go put this over here And that should be good. But yeah, I, I'm curious about the uh, explodey spaceship, so that would be awesome. See, so that's aluminum. Yeah, I don't have any other aluminum, though. I would need one more aluminum. Which I'm now thinking there is one aluminum back at, uh, back on Terran, but I'm not gonna fly all the way back for that. Even though I am about to just repark my spaceship. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Trying to be conservative with my uh, fuel usage, but I also need to be able to make another rover. I think. I say need. I, I want to make another rover. So that way, if I can go out and do more, ex more deeper explorations, and get more resources, and get more, uh, more science, unknown research, and yeah, we can be more productive that way. Yeah, no one can ever have too many vehicle base. Agreed. Completely agreed. Alright, just gotta get back around here. Almost there. There we go, I see it. Now where's my beacon? And of course it would be the second one. Going in this rotational direction. So we would just need to wait till we pass it. What was that? That was weird. Like the <laughs> the ground cracked on me. Okay, the second one, and we're good. So that's gonna be a little bit of pain in the butt, but it'll be fun. All right. Cool, now I can uh, make another rover. Because if I'm not mistaken, rovers just take compound. Indeed. Just four of them. <laughs> Only four of them. It's not like I need that compound for anything else at all. Well, 
All right. Okay, let's get our other guy connected up here. There we go. We can disconnect this one. All right, all right, all right. Now, actually, maybe I should connect that so I can get power from wind. Is that, is that gonna happen? Oh no, it's charging this first. Well, that makes sense, that's fine. But what I am going to do though, is take this storage and put it on the back. So we can have one thing of storage and then the rest can be unknown research. All right, now we're filling up our second rover. And once that gets filled up, then, uh, then we can probably take it out for a spin. I'm trying to think, what else could we do while we're waiting on that? Um, wait, we have aluminum there. <gasps> Ooh, didn't realize I had that sitting there. Um, um, no, hold up. I almost did that bad. <laughs> I almost did that wrong. There we go. Move this one aluminum back over to here. <laughs> Can't believe I almost did that. I almost made a vehicle bay right beside my vehicle bay. I like to keep them a little bit separated. Uh, I can find your base on Baron. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what's up, Slas? Oh, and, and, oh, hi, Sing. How's it going? Sorry, I didn't realize Slaz was talking to Sing there. I just thought you were randomly telling me hi again. You gotta remember, you guys talk to each other, and I just... I don't know. It's, it's fun. It's interesting. And... we have power. We are good. We now have... we have a nice little rover train going on. So... so, let's let's see here. Okay, so what, what we, we need research. So research is the, uh... the goal. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some of this power. I see a storm there in the distance. Hopefully that's not coming for us. And I'm hoping this isn't glitched out power. No, it's going away, okay. I don't have any uh, solar panels or anything on my rover just yet, so I'm gonna make use of the power that I find on the ground. There we go. And I'm going to use this to help power. Yeah, maybe a big battery. That's what we're gonna use it for. Uh, what f fuels dried out when you are jumping on the other planet? Um, somebody told me, I forget who said it, but, uh, they said that you basically just get stuck and you're done. It's just, it is what it is. You have to, I guess, if you can figure out a way to exit and then reload your last save, you lose all that, but, um, uh, it's better than being stuck in space forever. I don't know, I've not experienced it and I'm not sure if that's something I want to experience. <laughs> yeah, I know there's other people other than me, but I, I know there is. I just, uh, it's, it, it's honestly, it's a lot to keep up with the live stream. Like, I, I try to keep up with the chat and I try to try to communicate with you guys. Um, but like jumping back and forth with the, the game and then talking to you guys, it's like sometimes the, it just doesn't fire in my brain that you guys are talking to each other. It's, it's funny. Well, here's some spitter guys. Maybe they'll have something for me. Probably not, but yep, nope. They have they have spit for me. They have toxic slime or gas or whatever it is. And there's something down there. What is? It's like a little random chunk of something floating there. And there is an unknown research down there. Yay! Yay, long long reach. It's all wobbly. It's wobbly research. <laughs> well, I like talking to you too, buddy. I'm glad you're in the chat. And not only am I glad you're in the chat, I'm glad you're in the chat again. Like I, you, you've been in, in in my live streams before, so it's it's always good seeing a familiar name, it's a familiar face. And I almost died. I should stop getting so close to those things. And screw you, organic. We don't need you. What is that? Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those weird olive-looking things. 
Eyeball olives. We'll get rid of you. We don't need you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Nice Doctor Who reference there, bud. And I just realized that I'm getting myself turned around here. Crap. Of course. Of course I get myself turned around. Okay, so I think this is the direction. Oh, man. Let's not do that again. Let's not get turned around. Let's not get turned around. Let's get back over to the blue, because that's where we were. And then... Yeah, okay, there. Right there, in big... Oh, I can even see my spaceship. Yeah, we're, we're not lost. We're good. I just need to pay attention to which direction I'm going. Get one free landing. Ooh, well, that's good to know. Hopefully that's the case. So, yeah, if, like, you're launching over to another location if they allow you to drop down that'd be nice laterite we we could we could probably use a laterite aluminum's always good first dead of the live stream <laughs> yeah I've, I've been doing really good like when I first started playing uh, I, I died a lot I died like the first few episodes but then I started kind of realizing the limitations there's been a couple times where I've died out of stupidity but I've, I've been relatively good at staying staying uh, staying alive there's a couple times where like I'll get too close to that I think my biggest weakness is like I'll get too close to spitter guys excuse me not the spitter guys the uh, the explodey guys yeah those guys get me almost every time like, I, I, I always take damage from them. Okay, there's that. Oop, oop, oop. Put that there. And let's make use of our tool, our train tool. I remembered that time. Yay. But yeah, so uh, Explodey guys are, are the significant cause of uh, most of my death. The, the leading cause of most of my deaths is what I'm trying to say. And one more. Yep. Okay, that's it. Oh goodness. Um, to do from what I read on the forums, you always have enough fuel to land on whatever planet you're currently orbiting. That's yeah. That's good to know. That's real good to know. Okay, so we didn't find another research. I'm going to at least poke around a little bit more. There's some trees around here that I could probably dig around in. I may do that. Just out of desperation. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's pick up a couple of these trees. Maybe we'll get lucky. Not there. And organics. We don't need organics. No organics. Okay, trees. Trees. All the trees. Spikers. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've gotten hit by a couple spikers. It's like surprising how far they have, like, their reach. They can spike you from, like, 10 feet away in game. Okay. Used to be there would be a <laughs> research under every single tree. Not anymore. I wonder if they removed researches or, you know, unknown researches from under these things. Okay. I'll probably try a few more, and if I don't find anything, I'll just move on. Yep, okay. Gotta move on. Uh, do you still not have the smaller generator that uses organics? Oh, that's a good question. That's gonna kick it off, isn't it? I'll just put it in here. I do not. <laughs> I do not. And even if I did, I, I probably wouldn't use it because the little organics, I know they're useful. Like, if you absolutely need power, but I'd, I'd much rather, like, have the sun or find stuff on the ground before I'd use organics as my power source. It's just, uh, they're, they're not worth it, you know? They're, they they only provide a very small amount of power, and if you're full on power, they continue to run. There's some more uh, ladder right there. So I don't really have a need for uh, for the small generator. Okay, there's some stuff up there that might possibly have research. So let me go up here. 
and my frame rate's just terrible right now. I wonder if it's uh, if this it's this planet or if maybe oh there's there's guys there that just randomly popped in. Good job. Okay, we gotta we gotta we gotta outrun these guys. Okay, let's do that. Take that guy. Run. Get that guy. Run. Oh, there's research that just fell off of that thing. Yeah, I'll take that one. How about that? Instead of dealing with these spitter guys. That worked out nice. There we go. Okay, what was that? I know you can find research objects attached to large rocks and tundra. Not sure if exotic is the same. Yeah, like like these type of large rocks. Yeah, I mean, I usually try to keep an eye out, and apparently I got st like these little guys right here. They stop your truck. These little whatever whatever these things are. These things with the like the stick with the little nubs on top. They will they they stop the vehicles, and that is annoying as crap. That's one thing I wish they would change. And I'm about to run into a bunch more of them. Like, I mean, you can run through these these th tall things of grass and everything without any sort of problem. You can go crazy running over rocks and stuff, but they hit that little nubby thing, man. You're done. Let's see. Um, close it for making power, silly. It's for making food tasty. What? What? I'm going to assume you're just being silly, because I, I don't know about any sort of food in the game, so... So, yeah. Oh, look at you, being silly. Now I want to put something on the grill. I need to do that soon. The wife and I were going to smoke something. We just got a smoker attachment for our grill. And I was going to smoke something this weekend, but, uh... It started raining. And it rained. It's been raining for like four days straight. Not too happy about that. <laughs> Okay, let's get that one. Let's get this one. Oh, some lithium that I can't use. Awesome. And no power. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> My luck with this research thing, man, is just not not good. Not good. Um, I'm gonna move this over here. Put all my ladder right down. Take that off the uh, train tool. All right, let's go ahead and let that run. Then my wind generator is not doing anything because there's no wind there. Handy that. Anything anywhere nearby? Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Come on. A little bit of wind there. Oh, and I dropped it. Okay. There we go. That's the one thing with wind generators. It's like, or the turbines or whatever. They, they have to be in the right spot at the right time. But I guess it's better than waiting for daylight to come up the next time. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin. Always good time to grill. That's awesome. <laughs> Negative 20 out. Yeah, that, that'd be a great time. You, you need the fire. You know, to, to, to live, right? Because <laughs> if you don't have the fire, then you freeze to death. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess any time's a good time to grill. If you're, uh, if you're brave enough, right? <laughs> Ooh, finally, something. Come on, something useful. Large battery. Finally. Large battery. Now I have to go back to Terran and get all that lithium. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'm I'm actually excited for that. Okay. All right. Let's let's move this here. Let me think. I I need to take another thing. Yeah, I'm literally going to make a run. Oh, I forgot I had all this over here. I'm gonna make a run back to Terran just to get all of my lithium. That is literally about what's what's about to happen. Literally, literally, not figuratively. Literally, I'm 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 about to do that. That's that's a thing. The thing is, I also need the space apparently. So let me move this over. Uh, and find my spaceship. There it is. Okay. 
Hooray! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been I've been waiting on that one, man. Been waiting on that one for a while. Now if we can just find a truck, I'll be much happier. Cause I got my as long as I don't lose my my tank, my tank currently. I'm I'm set with both these small batteries and uh Now that I've got this large battery, that's good. All right, let's get all that lithium. What's up, soggy pretzels? <laughs> uh, you know, watching Nerd try not to kill himself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the usual thing, though, right? I mean, it's always a struggle to to survive and not die, especially being me, man. I got the clumsies. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hang out for a minute. And then something's going to come in range momentarily. I love how everything's split apart, like awkwardly chopped oranges or something. Right, and there it is. I guess I could have waited. Survive equals not die. Absolutely. Yep. That is the goal. That is the goal. Not to die. The goal is to survive. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and we will get we will do this one. That was a good timing. And my frame rate is just going out the window right now. Wonder if I have something open I'm not supposed to be having open, but hey, it's fine. It's good. Alright. Hello, Zebra Ball. How's it going? We got some compound there. Probably could use that. Thank you, thank you. Then we'll grab all this here lithium. <laughs> all the lithium. Let's grab that guy. So, there's one big battery. Two big batteries. Three big batteries. Very cool. I actually, I think I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave one lithium set here, because I do want one, at least one here. Uh, I guess I could have picked both of those up. And I have no rhyme or reason as to why I'm taking enough for two batteries to exotic. Other than that, I plan on making that kind of my main base until we can find all the research we need. There we go. Hmm. Oh, what's up, pooping penguin? <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Uh, yeah, it was cool that you stopped by. I mean, hey, anytime you're here, it's, all, it's always a good time. Always a good time. Let's see here. Seeing you on recordings. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so there's a thing. So for those of you who have not seen, uh, there's currently a competition, it seems, between uh, Poop and Penguin, and he's not here currently, but uh, Dude, D-O-U-D, for uh, first comments on the channel. And penguins, uh, penguins been number one in getting those uh, those first comments, but uh, dude's giving him a run for his money. It's uh, it's very entertaining. It's very entertaining. Okay, I've lost my spaceship. It's over there. It's over there. And I need to make sure I don't forget my lithium that I came here for. Uh, Soggy, you talking to me about my computer, or are you asking somebody else in the chat? You're asking about mine. It's a ROG laptop. It's uh, running i7 with a 970M graphics card. Kind of awesome. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of. Oh, I mean, if it's like straight lagging for you, then yeah, you'll have to do something. But I'm having a little bit of frame rate issues right now. Normally it runs a bit smoother, but uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's Astroneer being weird. Because I know the longer you play in Astroneer, the more laggy it becomes. The uh, frame rates tend to start suffering. 
I thought we were going for first in cleverness. Oh, uh, would be awkwardly chopped oranges would be a great username. Yeah, that's pretty funny. When I can get notifications that you're live streaming, I'll join in on this competition. Oh my! <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you guys want to compete for uh, for first, that that'd be hilarious. Um, so my usual uploading schedule for Aston Year is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, one p.m. Uh, oxygen not included, Tuesday, Thursday, 1 p.m. Um, and then my Elite Dangerous is Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. And I've currently got a, a Banish Challenge that is going out on th at 3.30 each day for the next handful of days. I can't remember exactly. There's 12 total, so how many is left in that series? Yeah, thankfully I've not got any sort of uh, crashes. It, it does tend to hang a little bit. I've, I've noticed that as well. Okay, let's uh, pay attention here. Let's get some batteries, guys. I'm excited. Batteries are awesome. Oop, 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 oop. Yep. There we go. Put this one over here. And we will put this one over here. And I think I picked up that other one. That's why there's one left. Did I forget that other one? Or I think I did add that to the collection. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So now we have batteries, now we uh, we have plenty of power to get us where we need to go. Guess who's back, back again, guess who's back, tell a friend, it's Poop and Penguin! <laughs> I like it! Poop and Penguin has his own theme song, that's awesome. That is hilarious, I like it. Okay. Running around trying to think, uh, what I'd like to have is like a cave nearby that I could run some tethers over. There was one that I found, I think maybe it's here, that uh, we explored but it didn't go anywhere. I believe this is it, let me check. Indeed, that is the one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up because there is nothing else down here. Let me just put like a little nub here showing, showing that it's, it's useless. That's what that's going to indicate. All right, I guess I could take my rover around. Um, so, so for my uh, my live streams, I do 720. For my uploaded videos, I do 1080. Because um, I don't think I have the bandwidth to push out, or at least like to be able to record high quality uploaded videos and also do 1080. I don't, I don't want to make that suffer at all. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of pushing the limits on my laptop right now. So I stream in 10, uh, excuse me, 720, and I upload in 1080. And I have no power. <laughs> Good job. Good job. And I'm putting a solar panel down. It's not going to help me just yet. Need to find one of those power things. I thought there was one nearby. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm all getting all twisted around. These vehicle controls suck, man. <laughs> so bad. So bad. Let's see here. Uh, push a little nub over my life. Oh, yeah, I feel you though, bud. I feel you. Uh, I guess we could pick up some of this here ladder, right? Uh, oh, because we are out of power. Out of power. Awesome. Yeah, I think it was up to 24, I think, earlier. Yeah, this has definitely been like the most popular live stream so far. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. I've been having a lot of fun tonight. What's up, Fusionator? Interesting name. Of course, I didn't bring any freaking storage things with me. You know what, the base is right there and I'm out of power, so I can't really do anything about that. So let me pick those back up, like a derp. I don't think Astroneer was made to be a driving game. No, but I mean, if you're going to include a vehicle in a game, you should at least put a little bit of effort into making it not terrible. 
I mean, they have made improvements. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about that, but could be better. Could be better. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> and it seems as though I need more storage. So let me let me drop this. Let me drop this over on the printer. Where we at? There you go. Oh, thanks for uh, seven Zoggy Pretzel. Awesome. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I always love hearing that sound. Okay, so we could probably put some of this stuff here. Right, I'll keep that one actually. And put that there. We'll go ahead and run that. And then um put all these random compounds on here would be good. And what else? Didn't I have something? No, I didn't. Okay. Cool. So now it's not daytime yet, seriously. Um, do I have any power in that other battery? I do. I do. What I'm thinking is I can run this power over to that and transfer it that way. So you're almost 250 subs. Oh man, that's cool. I haven't checked in a little bit. I hope that's the case. Well, that didn't really give me any. <laughs> that was a little bit of a charge. Yeah, uh, I, I found out on my first attempt at, uh, at live streaming, Wi-Fi is not the way to go for uh, live streaming. It's, it's best if you're hardwired in. So I had to run uh, Ethernet cable all the way from upstairs down to here to my to my basement area, my, my workstation. And uh, my internet's been infinitely better. I mean, my, my router's pretty good, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't do live streaming as well as it is when it's hardwired in. Oh yeah, the, it's it's absolutely the the devs are actively working on the game. And there's some more research. Sweet, sweet. Um, so yeah, they they just recently added this uh, 158 patch. So I'm assuming here in the next couple of weeks we'll probably see something else, unless they've got something crazy going on. But uh, yeah, they've been pretty consistent in their uploads or uploads. <laughs> I'm thinking in, in YouTube terms uh, and, and their updates. And I just God, I keep I keep not focusing. I meant to toss some um, one of the storage things on here. I left it sitting there. I didn't do it. My brain's starting to get tired. <laughs> okay, let's run this research over there. Uh, oh goodness. Uh, what is it? Okay. Um, you're growing ridiculously fast, and your last banished live had 223. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did actually. Uh, his man cave. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Kind of what it is. It's, it's my workstation. And I got, I got my, uh, I got my, my main computer here, and I got my work computer over here. So uh, my entire desk is like filled with monitors. It's kind of cool. Hey, I just researched storage. Is that like vehicle storage? Is that what I just saw? Oh man, well I'd have to have a vehicle over here to find out, but I think that's what I just got. That's awesome. Sitting here yakking, not paying attention. Uh, I didn't know, but I was a minute ago behind in the stream. Okay, I have no idea. Um, um, oh crap, I just realized that the episode is now over 30 minutes. So guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, sorry for this latest, uh, like last 10, 15 minutes. I've, my brain's been all over the place, apparently. Uh, so yeah, yeah, but I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do here, hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. And, and if you want to help the channel grow, uh, try to, try to get my name out there, guys. Uh, if, if you got places that you like to hang out online, uh, that you know likes gaming stuff and you think I might fit in there, uh, put my name out there and uh, share a link. I'd appreciate it. Um, what else? Let me, vehicle storage. Yes, I'm super excited for that. And what do you do for work? Uh, I will make this quick. I, I am a reports developer for a company. Um, it's a uh, database programming so yeah anyway let me end the episode here and uh next episode we will continue uh looking for more research and hopefully we can find that truck research that i've been looking for so desperately that'd be nice that'd be super nice <laughs> but anyway guys uh yeah as always thanks for watching take care